What's good everyone, it's Adam from My Music Mogul. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and remake Lil Tecca's track, Repeat It, featuring Gunna. So let's jump right into it. First things first, we're gonna go and change our tempo to 145 beats per minute. There's a lot of triplets happening in the song and um, we could, I'll show you in a moment actually. Let's go ahead and just start off with the main uh, sound here. We're gonna go to Legacy, we're gonna go to Logic. We are gonna go to orchestral, we're gonna go to strings, and we're gonna go to uh, bass section pizzicato. All right, so since there is a lot of triplets in this track, we're gonna go ahead and change our grid from 16 to 1 12th, with this a triplet, and eight's, eight's a triplet. And we're gonna go ahead and draw in that pattern. As you can see, actually, I didn't point it out, the grid changes, right? So from 16, we get a 16th grid, and then we're gonna change it to a triplet grid because uh, the melody is in a triplet. And let's go ahead and draw that in. these down Uh, it's gonna duplicate it over and um, we'll chop it up over here. And what we're gonna do here is just shorten these notes so this is a little bit quicker. Just really quick. All right, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to bring in a little bit of distortion on it. Let's go to overdrive stereo. And uh, I'm gonna pull this all the way up here. Just make it a fuller sound. Pull that down. All right, next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna duplicate this track. We're gonna copy down the same pattern. And this time we're just gonna bring in a string ensemble pizzicato. And we're just gonna layer that up. All right, now we're gonna create a new soft instrument track and there's like this little string pluck that's happening in the background. So we're just gonna draw that in. Uh, first, let's bring in the instrument. We're gonna go to Logic Sculpture. The preset will be uh, plucked instrument, uh, tiny plucks. We'll adjust this in a moment. Let's just draw in that pattern. Now let's manipulate that sound. Let's open up Logic Sculpture. And uh, we're gonna take off that delay. We're not gonna let it release so much. We'll keep it a little quicker. Just mix that in. And then we can go ahead and just group these together. And I'm just gonna cut out a little bit of the low end here. All right, 
right? Something simple like that. This will carry on for two bars. Oh, I don't want a marker there. And then we're gonna get like a little reverse section over here, reverse sound, I'm just gonna bring that in. And it's gonna pull us into the next section. It's very like bass heavy, even in the original track. So we're just gonna leave it like that. Duplicate that over and we can work on this section over here. So what we're gonna do here is create a new software instrument track. And we're gonna copy down once again, the same pattern. And for this, we're gonna bring in a piano and it's just gonna layer up that string sound. Go to piano. And uh, we'll bring in the Yamaha Grand Piano. It's gonna sound like this. Put in the background there. We'll leave it like that. All right, next is going to bring in some drums. We'll create a new software instrument track. And we will go to our user patches and let's bring in the uh, repeated drum kit right over here. And we can start off with that clap. That's on the threes. All right, then we're gonna go to, let's go to our hi-hat. And this hi-hat's gonna be a triplet. We'll go to AT. Just drag that out. This open hat here is just going to be a quick one, just on the top. Let's draw in our snare pattern. Uh, let's create a MIDI region. Gotta pitch that up. And we get like a little pitch down effect here. All right, next is going to create a mini region over here and let's draw in our secondary open hat. All right, so we can just go ahead and duplicate that over. And then actually before we go to the next section with the 808s, let's create a new software instrument track. Actually, we don't need to do that. Let's just duplicate our Yamaha Grand Piano. And let's draw in that piano melody that happens in the background. that over. Let's work on our second half here. And uh, it's gonna go like this. All right, let's go ahead and just chop that up at the end. And the entire pattern sounds like this. All right, the only thing I'm gonna bring in here is an instance of Wavy. And uh, I'm just going to layer this piano to make it a little bit brighter. So we're just going to go ahead and turn on the Ignite. Make it a little bit wider. We'll add some space. Add a little bit of a delay. So let's duplicate that over. And then what we're gonna do here is draw in our 808 pattern. There is two patterns. Let's draw on the first one. So 
navigate that over. All right, and then uh, let's just pitch that down. And I'm just going to add in the secondary 808 hit it here, right over there. All right, so there is the uh, the foundation there. I'm just going to listen to the track, arrange it, and we'll come right back. All right, so here we are with the arrangement right over here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is the rig we just put together. Lil Tech does repeat it. Featuring Gunna, let's go. All right, so right there is the remake to Lil Tecca's Repeat It featuring Gunna. If you have Logic users out there, I will place this Logic session for you guys down as soon as possible in this video. I'll also include the playback. If you don't use Logic, that will include the drum kit, MIDI, and the audio loops. You'll find that entire playback down below the like button as well. But that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Peace.